deduction puzzle games are mostly using similar mechanics. Only few feel like more than clicking through dialogue choices. Her story, a FMV game that I reviewed lately, is one of those games that use a new mechanic that also feels more like real puzzle deduction and therefore not as adventuresque than normal games of this genre. Unheard is another example. Here you only hear the surveillance of a crime scene and see the voices on an architecture map. You can now move somewhere and listen to what the people once said. And you can move your character around so that you hear what's going on in other rooms or follow people. All done, Marty. Ah, oh, Amber. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said Since the first try is not enough, especially because there are plot twists, you have to listen to it again and again. And meanwhile, change your position and move to other places and listen to other persons. In the list, do you then have to sort which character is who and therefore see those names on the screen helping you put things into order in your mind as well. We went to the car. Definitely had too much to drink, but... After you have heard everything, you mostly need to rewind again because now certain moments make up another sense or you now finally know what the people are talking about. Then you have to answer a few questions and you find out whether you solve the case or not and therefore have to rehear something maybe. That's easy with a short clip, but gets harder when there are more people involved, the maps get bigger or the audio clip runs longer. Fortunately, you can fast forward while hearing sound, so if you rewatch something, then you can speed up the time until something happens. You can also input lines, maybe to mark an important moment in the timeline or a plot point. Take a seat, please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? This is no game you play on the fly, cause you really have to concentrate on the things that are said, who did it and where. It's certainly none if you're an action fan or prefer permanent optical effects. It's a fine graphic, very fitting, but besides the cutscenes, stays always the same. But this gameplay also provides a great atmosphere and that you really have to figure everything out, doing all the necessary combination work for yourself in your head, just like in her story. The game adds nothing in helping you with other characters giving you conclusions, hints or confirmation. So you feel really like doing deduction work, such left on your own, and that is the core element of the game. When you solved it, some scene extracts to a recap and repeat the key lines. Trunk. Don't worry, he was already wasted. The gameplay feels fresh, but also it's very time-consuming when the missions get bigger. And the tactic gets very static as well. Maybe in the first missions you really went with people were discovering more. Later you will figure out that it is much more easier, effective and including all that was said by not moving at all in a playthrough, but staying in a certain room, fast forward, when it's silent and so listen to everything there and then switch to another room the next time. So in the end, here you finally do nothing more than change rooms. Wait, listen and repeat. It's still fun, but uh, hearing audio clips one after the other reminds me of simply dubbed dialogue like in other adventure puzzle games or a radio play or an audiobook where you have to guess the murderer may be in the All end. Three of us in the same police station. Those two behave and I have to stress out that a wider cast of characters makes this harder without gaining a lot more fun cause since you have to connect the voices to names, one task is to hear when people are mentioning names or hints to that, sometimes only once in the whole play. I like the mechanics and just for that would recommend it to a detective puzzle gamer. It starts really great and is only at a price tag of around five to six dollars. So even if you don't like all missions, this is still a no brainer. In terms 
of what you will get for your money, not in terms of thinking. In the future, I will look into other games that use unusual original gameplay ideas with the very interesting and challenging The Chance of Senna. You know I don't do the real thing.